gentlemen, the ceremony will begin momentarily. Please move to your seats and silence all electronic devices. Good morning, distinguished guests, soldiers, families, and friends. Welcome to the change of responsibility for the 95th CSSB. My name is Sergeant Lorena Servin, and today we honor Command Sergeant Major Luis Ortiz Escalera as he relinquishes their responsibility to Command Sergeant Major Gary Kisco. Please treat this ceremony as an outdoor event. The host for today's ceremony is the commander of the 95th CSSB, Lieutenant Colonel Robin A. Eskelson. The non-commissioned officer in charge for today's ceremony is the 95th Operations Sergeant, Master Sergeant Eric Scott. At this time, I ask you to direct your attention to the VIP seating, where Specialist Sutton will present a bouquet of red roses in full bloom to Command Sergeant Major Ortiz's wife, Miss Marimel Sierra, and one single stem rose to his daughter Camila, representing the completion of a successful tour of duty and symbolic for their devotion, dedication, and tireless efforts to the soldiers and families of the 95th CSSB. Sergeant Nakasoni from 317 Support Maintenance Company will present a bouquet of yellow rosebuds to Command Sergeant Major Kisco's wife. Ms. Crispy Kisco. Yellow roses represent the beginning of new relationships that will soon be formed in command and the community. size or larger has a flag that is specifically designed and unique to it. The flag is referred to as the organizational colors. Colors evolved from ancient Roman armies who used them for battlefield identification. They assured the commander that all of his units were ready for battle. The very soul of a military unit is symbolized in the colors under which it fights, for it records the glories of the past stands guardian over its present and ensures inspiration for its future. The change of responsibility is a simple yet traditional event that is rich with symbolism and heritage. The key to the ceremony is the passing of the colors. The very soul of a military unit is symbolizing the colors under which it fights, for they represent not only the lineage and honors of the unit, but also the loyalty and unity of the soldiers. The custodian of the colors is the command sergeant major, who is the senior enlisted soldier in the unit and principal advisor to the commander. The non-commissioned officer in charge, Master Sergeant Scott, will pass the colors to Command Sergeant Major Ortiz. Command Sergeant Major Ortiz will in turn pass the colors to the commander, Lieutenant Colonel Eskelson. The passing of the colors symbolizes the relinquishment of responsibility and authority from Command Sergeant Major Ortiz. Lieutenant Colonel Eskelson will then pass the colors to Command Sergeant Major Kisco, charging him with the responsibility and authority that comes with his position, and entrusting him with the health, welfare, and readiness of the soldiers and families that make up the 95th Combat Sustainment Support Battalion. Let it be known that from this day forward that the commander of the 95th Combat Sustainment Support Battalion has placed special trust and confidence in their patriotism, dedication, integrity, and leadership abilities. Therefore, you are hereby appointed as the, com the Command Sergeant Major of the 95th Combat Sustainment Support Battalion. Command Sergeant Major Kisco will now return the colors to the non-commissioned officer in charge.
you've been, in, you've been an impact not just on the soldiers standing here today, but on generations of soldiers who will come after. Your leadership, your example, your legacy will live on in the hearts and minds of this battalion. You have set a high bar for that. We will be forever grateful. As we say goodbye to one chapter, we look forward to the next. Command Sergeant Major Pisco and his wife, Chrissy, we are excited to welcome you both to the War Horse Battalion. We are eager to see what new energy, ideas, and leadership you will bring to this unit. I have no doubt that with your guidance, the War Horse Battalion will continue to grow and thrive. Thank you all for being here today. Thank you for your support, your dedication, your commitment to this battalion and its wonderful soldiers. Together, we built something truly special. Together, we carry it forward. Welcome to the War Horse Battalion, Post Security. The true value of the leader is not measured by the work they do, but by the work they inspire others, others to do. God bless you all. I see you in the high ground or in Waikiki. Go Army, Big Navy, mercy support, deeds not worth, supply the line, War Horse 7, Sunday and up the net. General Schwarzkopf said, the truth of the matter is that you always know the right thing to do. The hard part is doing. And today I charge all War Horse soldiers to do the right thing. Always. It is, a, uh, it is an honor and privilege uh, to be your Command Sergeant Major. It's something I will not take lightly. Uh, I've been waiting to say this for a long time. My name is Command Sergeant Major Gary Gisdale, and I am a war horse soldier. Supply the line, deeds not words, first in support, war horse seven, signing on the net. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes today's ceremony.